the most exciting week of the year is here. It's Banned Books Week. September 22nd through October 2nd is this year's Banned Books Week. Now, this year's theme for Banned Books Week is censorship is a dead end. Find your freedom to read during Banned Books Week. If you want to follow Banned Books Week on Twitter, their handle is at Banned Books Week. And you can always find more information on bannedbooksweek.org. That is the website for the coalition. So what is Banned Books Week about? First of all, you have to know the definition of a banned book. And that starts with knowing what a challenge is. So our definition is an attempt to remove or restrict materials or service based on content. If an item has actually been removed or canceled based on content, then it is considered banned. And that's the definition from the American Library Association. Banned Books Week is about protecting our First Amendment right. It was started in 1982. The goal of Banned Books Week is to help us recognize censorship and to continue the battle for free expression that is at the heart of library services. So you may be wondering, who are these challenges coming from? The information from this last year says that the majority of the challenges are initiated by the patrons of a public library. The second largest group is parents, which is 18% of the challenges. 13% of the challenges come from school boards and administration. 12% come from political or religious groups. 8% come from actual librarians and teachers. 3% comes from elected officials and 1% come from students. So where do these challenges take place? A question that I get a lot is, well, if these books are banned, how can we read them? How are they here? So that kind of leads to the question of where do the challenges take place? Because while the majority of the challenges take place in a public library, 66%, if a book is banned in one public library, it is most likely only going to be banned at that individual library or a system of libraries associated with a city. Books in the public libraries are not banned statewide or nationally. 19% um, of school libraries have challenges and school libraries will operate by level by independent school district. So an item may be uh, challenged or banned in one school district, but not in any other. 12% of the challenges are done at schools, which means that it is probably related to um, a book in an English classroom or another classroom or related to um, a reading in the curriculum. And then 2% is academia, which is like your university libraries, and 1% of the challenges happen at special or prison libraries. So that's where we see most of our censorship. Now the most interesting thing to talk about is why books are banned. So here is an interesting infographic to show you what are the most common examples of why books are challenged. As I go through the top 10 of last year's banned books, um, you will probably notice a theme, which is the largest word that you see here, books that contained LGBTQIA issues. And then of course, um, next to that, we have sexually explicit, violent political viewpoints. And then of course, we also have a lot that are much um, smaller, but still come up. Anytime you have a book that makes a statement that someone could possibly disagree with, it has the potential to be challenged or banned. But I say, there's no such thing as bad publicity. After all, a lot of our most favorite books are also banned books, and they still get read. So what are the top 10 most banned books of 2019? First off, we have George by Alex Gino. And then we have Beyond Magenta, which is a transgender nonfiction book. Following that, we have a picture book called A Day in the Life of Marlon Bundo. And then a nonfiction book titled Sex is a Funny Word. Our fifth book on the list is another picture book, Prince and Knight. The sixth book is I Am Jazz by Jazz Jennings. Our seventh book is one you'll all be familiar with, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. This is one that has come up and been challenged over and over again, um, but probably because there was a Hulu show, it has made the list recently quite a few times. Number eight is Drama, a graphic novel by Raina Telgemeier. Number nine, of course, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. It Harry Potter gets challenged every year for magic and witchcraft. 
And then number 10, a picture book called Tango Makes Three. Now that you're fascinated by band books, maybe you would like to attend some events. Let's start with September 30th. There will be a trivia event online. On October 2nd, Scary Stories is going to be shown on YouTube and there will be a watch party. That's October 2nd at 6 p.m. The whole month, there is a letter writing campaign called Dear Band Author. So find out what your favorite band book is and write a letter to the author, if they're still alive. Some obviously aren't. So do you want to know more? Go to bandbooksweek.org. Remember, free people read freely. My presentation would not be complete without mention of a book called The Band Book Club. Now this is a brand new book and I just read it. It is a graphic novel memoir. This story is set in South Korea in 1983. Hyun Suk is headed to college. She has the support of her dad, but she does not have the support of her mom. And that's partly because college is full of protesters against President Chun, who is a corrupt president. Well, Hyun Suk has the best of intentions and she joins a mass dance team. But during their first performance, she finds out it was just a cover for a protest. After that, she is asked to join a band book club. They do a variety of things. For one, of course, they read band books, such as The Scarlet Letter, The Communist Manifesto, Reform or Revolution, Memoirs of a Dutiful Daughter. But reading is not all they do. They also run a newspaper. They also watch video that has been banned. Now, in South Korea, things are banned by the whole government, which means they aren't allowed in the country at all. So all of the students in this band book club are in great danger of being arrested for what they're doing. And one of them does. He is jailed, and Hyun Suk has to step up and take his place. Is she ready to be a revolutionary for what she believes in? That book is called The Band Book Club, and it's in our library.